uh, soul is coming from spiritual world to material world, that time no seed was there, sinful seed was not there. So at what point that seed is germ coming in? Yeah, from? good point. Yeah. You see, <coughs> we can look at it this way. Uh, this is from Prema Vivarta by Jagadananda Pandit, associate of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He is pointing out that somehow uh, a living entity looks away from Krishna. Krishna bohir mukhaya bhogoban chakari. Just somehow or other, he just looks at. Now, a living entity is minute. His consciousness, since it is minute, his consciousness is like a ray of light, right? His consciousness can be compared to a ray of light. So to how many points you can project one ray of light? Only at one point. So it is. it has only two options, either towards Krishna or away from Krishna, right? And the moment it turns his face away from Krishna, then what does he see? Away from Krishna is what? So there is only two things. Krishna and Krishna's external energy. Looking away from Krishna means looking at Krishna's external energy. Right? Now the, now the external energy is inferior. Whereas the living entity is superior. Now as soon as the superior comes across an inferior, what happens? Huh? It develops a tendency to exploit. Right? Now, exploiting tendency means lording over. So, you see how his identity is changing? Just because he looked away from Krishna, his identity changed now from a servant to the master. And that identity, like that of a master, is the false ego. He gets covered by false ego and thinks that he is the master. And then he uh, gets, gets the next covering, the second covering of intelligence. And he begins to consider how he is going to ex enjoy this material nature. Then he gets the third covering through the, of the mind through which his consciousness now is constantly being projected onto the material nature. So in this way, with Ma false ego, intelligence and mind, he gets the, his subtle body through this three covering. And then accordingly the nature awards him with a gross body. So this is how a living entity gets entangled in the material nature. So as you are asking where is the seed, huh? the seed is just on turning away from Krishna. Right? Turning his face away from Krishna. The, I mean, bo, the Sanskrit word or even Beng, is used in Bengali also. Bohir muk means what? Bohi means outside. Muk means face. When the face is looking away, all the trouble actually began. Now the question is, how to counter that? The way to counter that is look towards Krishna. Therefore, Rupa Goswami is saying, always remember Krishna and never forget. And Krishna is saying, man mana bhavo, man mana bhavo. Uh, with your mind, you just think of me and don't think of anything else. So that is the way to turn our face back to Krishna. 